Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here with the 2007 full frame Nikon D3. Nikon's first full frame FX camera, DSLR that is. Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here. 50 years experience as a photojournalist here in New York City giving you all my knowledge about photography. This is class 216. Oh my goodness. Please subscribe. Hit the little red box right over here. That'll make you subscribed. And give me a thumbs up. Comment below, even if you just say, Happy New Year. <laughs> all right, guys. Today I have to discuss one of my top five favorite cameras. Nikon D3. Guys, this is a 12 megapixel DSLR that was $5,000 when it came out. You can pick these up in very good condition from Japan. I highly recommend get it from a seller from Japan because in Japan, they take care of their cameras. That's where I bought this one from many years ago. Now, how much did these cost? Before we get into all of its attributes, let's just talk about how much the camera body is. You can get them from as high as $700 with a very low shutter count, all the way down to, in still excellent condition, $400. I just checked today. Prices on eBay. And that's what they're going for. Between $400 and $700 used. Incredible piece of machinery. Now, let's say you had x-ray vision. And you could take its clothes off. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this picture. That is this camera body, the Nikon D3, with all of its paint off and all of its rubber grips off, right? All magnesium alloy body. You want to know? What this metal, this magnesium alloy metal is also used in? Race car wheels. Transmission cases, that big piece of metal underneath your truck or your car, the transmission case. Same metal, magnesium alloy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you throughout this video the photographs that I've taken with the D3, but not just any photographs. The photographs where they were all from paid assignments that I've been on with the Nikon D3. There was a time when the Nikon D3 was the only camera I would take out for professional jobs. Okay, so I just want to run down a list of very important things that you must know about it. Nine frames per second. Okay, if you put it in the DX mode, you know, you just use a smaller part of the sensor, you can get 11 shots per second. All right, very low noise. That was one of the things that Nikon was most proud of was that low, low noise from 200 ISO to 6400 ISO. I proved it myself and you'll see it in these photographs. Super low noise. 
Uh, now, let's turn it off. Open up the magic slots. Two CF cards, okay? Two of them for redundancy, all right? Now, CF cards are larger. They're more robust than a flat, thin little wafer of an SD card. I still use SD cards on my other cameras, but CF cards, that was the way to go with the Nikon D3. All right. Um, okay. Now, one last thing while we're going all through the photographs. that I've taken with this D3. Oop, forgot to turn it back on. Um, NASA, all right? NASA purchased bunches of the Nikon D3 with all different lenses. What did they use them for? Guys, the Nikon D3 was first up in the shuttle program, and now they are right now up in the International Space Station, right? Yeah, there could very well be a Nikon D3 looking down at Earth, taking photographs of your town. <laughs> okay, um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Um, oh, very important, let me turn it off again. All right, I have to tell you, but oh, by the way, this is not a battery grip, this is all part of the camera. This is all one piece. A lot of cameras, right, have a detachable battery grip, okay? Not the Nikon D3. It's all part of the unit. Now, I have to tell you about the ENEL4A battery. Look at the size of this battery, okay? This battery will last you almost all day. This battery was made with the professional in mind, okay? Or for the photographer that doesn't want to carry six or seven other batteries with them in their bag or in their pocket, okay? So, um, this lens that you see on here is the Nikon 85mm 1.4D, okay? But I also took photographs that you're looking at now with an array of photographs, uh, sorry, with an array of lenses. But the D3 is also happy with the 50mm Nifty 50 1.4 lens. It doesn't matter what you slap on the Nikon D3, it's gonna take a gorgeous professional photograph. All right, guys. So this has been another quick, fast, informational, fun video from me, Carmine from New York. This is class 216. Oh my goodness. All right. Subscribe, please. Thumbs up, comment below, but more importantly, email me any photographic question you have. I get approximately 12 to 15 emails a day from guys like you that just have a question. My favorite questions are, come on, I'm in the camera store or I'm in a, I'm in a, 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 a garage sale and they have a, this particular camera for sale. They send me pictures of it. I tell them what steps to do to check it out. I tell them what price, the cap, the top price that they should pay for it so they don't overpay. I love those questions, all right? And by the way, they, I answer them all for free because that's what I do. I have to. When you have 50 years experience in anything, whether it's an auto mechanic, whether it's a painter, an artist, or a photographer, you have to 
it's your right, it's your responsibility to share that information, to give back, to give back. 50 years worth of knowledge is in this cranium. I have to give back to the next generation coming up, people that want to learn photography. All right, enough talk. I hope you've enjoyed the photographs in this Nikon D3 video. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe. It's free. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day.